Up next is a featherweight clash between South Korea's Choi Yong Gwang and New Zealand's Eve Ting. Tail of the tape, Choi Yong Gwang, 27 years old, little older than Ev Ting, who's 23. They both made weight just fine, almost exactly the same height, and both of them trained MMA. We've got two legend veterans here facing off in Choi Yong Gwang and Ev Ting Vaughan. Was that a Wing Chun low kick there? Oh, was that a low blow there? <laughs> I, I think he ducked down just in time to avoid that. Nice takedown from Choi Yong Gwang. Choi Yong Gwang told me in an interview the other day that he's looking to finish this fight in the second round. He said that he's after he wins this fight. He's gonna, he wants to beat Kawanago and take the belt. And after he beats Kawanago, he wants to go up a division and beat up Jadamba. Can you believe that? Well, let's start off with Ev Ting first and take it from there. Very, um, very ambitious young man, obviously. Very confident. But right now, he's in Ev Ting's garden being locked up. And Ev Ting's looking to lock up a triangle, it looks like. Oh, he's got his arm stuck there under, between his cap, between Choi's calf and thigh. He's unable to use that hand to defend. The deep half guard is not really such a good, good move in MMA. But he's escaped now. And Choi looking to do as much damage as he can here on the ground. If he's still trying to go for that, it looks like a triangle or an armbar or set up something. Yeah, maybe it's something uh, I haven't seen before. There we go. Oh. But it's. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to take from there. Such an experienced fighter like Choi cannot be tricked so easily. And see in Choi's cor corner, head coach of Team Nova, Mr. Bach. A real genius. He showed me some videos of some new fighting strategies working on with his students up there, and it's so impressive. You can also see that in the caliber of his legend fighters, Choi Yang Guan, also Nam Yo Cho, and Yang Her Jun. This, uh, this is a great position for ground and pound, if that's really what Choi's plan is. He's, he's, he's past the guard, but he hasn't gone completely into side control. He stays in half guard like this, where the threat of those triangles and arm bars are non-existent, but he can still land just as many powerful punches as he could in full guard. Well, so far, Cho Young Guang having much the better of it in the first half of this, of this first round, dominating position, really beating everything up from from uh, from the top, whether it's in half guard or full guard. Oh, look at this! He's wrapping up a choke now. Rear naked choke. Uh, mm. well, is this? It looks like it could take it. It's a very odd position to pull off a choke from. Uh, from this position, it's not uh, impossible to escape. Yeah, and you can see everything is out now. Yeah, Choi Yong Guang bailing before wasting too much energy on that. But still, he's still in the good position and continuing to beat up everything. Yeah, look at him pinning his head down and dropping those elbows. Ting really unable to move here. He's trapped against the ropes, controlled well by Choi. And well, he's got full guard back. That's, um, that's a step forward at least. And again, F. Ting trying to set up a, a submission from the bottom here, but it's... It's not going to fly on a, on a veteran like, uh, like Choi Yong Guang. Mm. Such a tough guy as well. Less than a minute left in the first round. It's been all Choi Yong Guang. Ooh, a knee to the head, I like that. There's another one. Well, just about 40 seconds left. 
And Choi Young Wang is improving his position further on Nifting. Ooh. Ebting able to get up, but he pays the price, eating a high kick on his way up. A knee from Choi Young Wang. Seems like Ting is a little bit tired. We've seen him in other fights a bit more aggressive. Ten seconds left in this opening round. He should survive, go back to his corner, regroup and come into the second round with a new plan. A dominant round there from South Korea's Choi Yong Gwang against New Zealand, but Malaysian-born New Zealander Ev Ting. Ting training out of Auckland MMA. The, ooh, nice left hand by Ting. Oh, he's oh, him, he's hey. uh, is it another comeback fight? Choi diving for the double leg. Ting able to stuff it, but he's up against the ropes oh, and eventually. And he does not want to be here. Yeah, this is where he spent the, f the majority of the first round. And um, ooh, those are nice elbows. I like that. Ev Ting teeing off on the elbows against Choi Yong Gong on the, on the side of the head. Now, Choi Yong Gong, I do not know how rocked he was from that first punch, but the, they're, out of the, they're out of the ropes now, so the referee is going to bring them back in. Oh, starts standing. standing. Choi Yong Gong not happy about that. Nice teep by Ting. Ting is teeing off on Choi Yong Gong, and that, well, that, that will make his takedowns a bit less oh, effective. I think those elbows are hurting Choi. He sort of just toppled over there for a second. I wonder how, how rocked he was from that. Ting is an incredible striker and definitely can hang here on the feet with Choi. That's why I'd like to see him spend the rest of this fight. He's getting ready to tee off on some knees against Choi Yong Guang. He can, oh, but going for that throw, that oh, was oh. a bad idea. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was the smartest move. Now he's in the worst, yeah, really bad position. and. Um, it's not so easy for Ting to escape someone like Choi's uh, top control. One thing I have noticed, though, is that Ting has a lot more energy coming into the second round than he did in the first round. I'm happy about that. Yeah, it, it seemed like a different different guy coming into this round. And, and with that flurry of punches at the beginning, Choi Yong Guang does look suddenly very rocked. And again, Ting off with those elbows, Vaughn. Yeah, they, they score points, but I don't know. I don't think he's going to knock out. I don't think he's going to knock him out or even win. You know, he's scoring points with the hits, but Choi is scoring points with the top control. So the best thing to do is to abandon the, the strikes from the bottom, find a way to your feet, and start striking there. Now Choi is in, he's in full mount. Now he's got Ting's back, and, and he's in the corner, in a, yeah. In a world of trouble, and still two and a half minutes to go in this round. F Ting is just curling up, and he, he has to try and get out of this position. Yeah. He cannot just curl up. Yeah, curling up is the same thing as tapping out. You can't stay like that for too long. If you're not intelligently defending yourself, the referee will step in and save you. Now, this is the worst position that F Ting could possibly in, be in against Choi Yong Guang, but he is trying at least to get out of it. He has to be careful not to give up his back. Just over two minutes to go in the second round. Choi Yong Guang looking to, to wrap up his arms in a gift wrap there so that he can t take his arm out of contention, but still. Yeah, so far Choi is, you know, he's doing, a, he's doing his best he can. He's trying really hard to escape Choi's top game, but it's just, just spinning, spinning around, transitioning from back Whoa, mount. Wow, nice elbow from the back. Yes, back mount to mount. That was a nice elbow. Minute and a half left in, in, this, in this round. Lefting trying to escape from this terrible, terrible position. Choi Yong Guang working for the rear naked choke. Efting in a whole heap of trouble. Can he ride it out for the rest of this round and get back up on his feet for the third one? That's the crucial question. One minute to go. 
Choi Young Kwan predicted that he would knock Ting out in the second round, and so far, that looks unlikely. Oh, 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 T Ting gets on top. Good work from Ting. Now he can drop those elbows. It's a much better position to drop elbows from than when he was on the bottom. Look at Choi wrapping up the rubber guard. So he's got him here in the rubber guard. Ting is unable to posture his head up. And, he's, and, and Choi still has one, one hand free to um, work for submissions. Mission control. Mission control. We don't see that much in, it, in MMA. Ooh, another nice short elbow from Ting. Looks like this round is going to end. He will survive this round, but he's, he's taken a lot of domination, taken a big beating. Here's, here he is trying to do his best he can to strike from the bottom there. Some nice short elbows. Stifling Choi's game. Here Ting is, wrapped up on the bottom for nearly the entire round. Defends the chokes, turns himself back to the top position. Third and final round, Vaughn. F. Ting's got to pull something miraculous out of the bag if he's going to turn this fight around. Well, we can expect Choi to shoot for the takedown. I'd like to see F. Ting lower his hips a little and prepare for the double leg because that seems to be Choi's preference. High kick from Choi. Ooh, swing and a miss. And there's a, a oh, kick nice that kick. lands really noisy. We hear it all the way over here clearly. Oh, beautiful. Nice. He's, got, he's got Choi's back. He's the, oh, Choi does a good job to reverse him. Choi incredibly strong. Almost had, almost lost position, but just pure strength. Reverse it, now he's into his guard. Choi back in the half guard. A great position for ground and pound. And Choi really unable to, to do much from this position. Coach back in, in Choi's corner giving him instructions in Korean. Ting just looks exhausted. You're right though, Ali. It seems equally as much a technique issue as it does a strength issue. Choi just seems so much stronger than Ting here, doesn't he? He has that, he has that explosiveness where, whereby even when F. Ting does manage to take him down, he, he can reverse it in, a, in an instant. Ev, Ev Ting training out of a great fight camp in Auckland, New Zealand, Auckland MMA, coached by head coach Hamish Robertson. They have a new location, folks. If you're ever in Auckland, stop by and train. Ting's got a hold of his wrist, a nice elbow there. Ooh, oh. mouthpiece beat out of his mouth. Oh, Choi looking to wrap up an armbar. Choi Young Guang doing a good job of making space from the guard so he can, so he can land those punches and elbows. Everything trying his best to, to close that space, but like, we, like you said, Choi Young Guang is such a physical specimen. He's so strong. Choi seems to be playing it safe here. He's content that he's won the last two rounds and he's winning the third round too. He's not doing anything risky. And he knows that F Ting is the one that's got to take the risks. Yes, that's true too. He's just sapped so much energy out of F Ting in this fight. But F Ting still come. Look at him. He's still coming back with those hard elbows from the bottom, doing everything he can to get the win here. And 
perhaps Choi Yong Gong looking a little bit tired now, not not having as much. Oh, oh there it is! Oh arm my bar. God! This is finally bad news. Ting's got it. He's got an armbar. Is he going to be able to tap out Choi Yong Gong? Look at the look at the grimace on his face. He's doing everything he can to finish this. Is it going to be enough? And he's got one minute left to do it. Choi Yong Gong putting his foot in Ev Ting's neck to try and neutralize that armbar attempt, but he's still got it. You can still, it doesn't matter if he gets to his knees, you can still finish the armbar. Choi is out, close call for Choi. That was a close one. <laughs> nice work by Ting. Unfortunately for Ting, that armbar attempt meant he's lost position and he's now side mounted. Oh, he's going for a, is that a reverse triangle? You can get the triangle from there. It's not exactly easy, but it's possible. Oh, oh I like knees. those knees, beautiful. Crafty work by Ev Ting, he's tricky. He tried to go for the mount, but Efting caught him in the half guard. Choi Young Guang, like, as I was saying, he's looking a little bit tired now. Hasn't got that explosiveness that he had in the first or second rounds. Ten seconds left. It looks like Choi is going to be able to take this one home. Yeah. Ev Ting quick back to his feet. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that round. Look at these takedowns. It was really, really tricky. One guy goes for the takedown, the other guy stuffs it, the other guy goes for the takedown, the other guy reverses it. In the end, Choi gets on top. That was kind of cool. Big. Right hand from Choi knocks the beats the mouthpiece out of Ting's mouth, and then here we see Ting wrap up an armbar, and it was so tight. Choi sticks his foot in Ting's throat, manages to pull through, and uh, well, who do you think won? I got. Well, I know it's up to the judges for that one. And if you want to try and score these fights yourself, you can just go and go ahead and download the iJudge Fights app for iOS and Android. Just go to www.ijudgefights.com. It's a, it, uh, it was a close fight in the end, but I have to say, Choi Young Wang seemed the more dominant in that one. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Kingo Samgo, we have to go to the judges' scorecards for Judge Arvin Lalwani scores the contest 30-26 for Choi Yuan Guang. Pengpun Arvin Lalwani beats Samso Yi Lufan, Choi Yuan Guang Yao Seng. Judge Hadi Gani scores the contest 29-28 for F Tang. Pengpun Hadi Gani beats up Gao Yi Sabafan, F Tang Yao Seng. Judge Benny Te scores the contest 29-27. Pengpun Benny Te beats up Gao Yi Sabafan, Yi Fan Kei Kyu Teng Yi Seng Chuk Hai. For the winner by split decision, Choi Young Well, a split decision win, Ali. That's why we're sitting in the commentator booth and not judging fights, because we wouldn't call it that way. Yeah, a bit surprising, but the right guy won in the end, I think. Sure.